was a chief, you know, for six years, from 2006 to 2012. And I was a grand chief of uh, the region from 2015 to 2021, for six years, you know. So I've been around, you know, and I hope uh, each community will begin to have healing, you know, like, um, because uh, we've been through a lot. You know, we know the history, you know, oppressed, marginalized, you know, but we're still here. We're gonna be here, or we're not going anywhere. And this is my home, you know. So uh, my kids are now raising their family in our home. I saw a lot of struggles, um, I guess, frustration amongst uh, all ages in my community. So I got on social media and said, why, should, why, why don't we do something and celebrate, you know, and uh, celebrate our resiliency, you know, and um, the people said, go for it, go for it. And many of the organizations contributed uh, financially um, to get it started. And everybody just uh, was looking forward to it. And last year when we began our uh, celebration, the first day is what we commemorated all those people that passed away during COVID. My staff talking to me about the many challenges that people were having, you know, post, uh, post COVID. No one said, we gotta do something, you know, in my mind. So that's how it started and we had fun last year. It was a great, uh, great start. Everybody, I'm looking forward to next year. People were saying, uh, I have a uh, resilient sun over from all the early morning bingos and late nights and, you know, it was great to see people smiling, laughing, enjoying themselves of all ages, you know. The concerts were, they were top, you know, like people were really enjoying them. Hey, how's it going? This is Drives the Common Man here at the Szechuan Resiliency Fest, opening up for the legendary Trooper. To be here, treated awesome here. Hospitality is amazing. Thanks for having us here. Thank you so much, Cassandra. We are the James Desjardins Band, and we just like to thank you guys for having us in your beautiful community. Here we are. Constant reminder. We just finished getting off the stage. We love you guys. We are looking forward to next year. We are the Garrett T. Willie Band. We uh, just got finished playing our set here in uh, Kishetchewan. Had a great time. We had a good boogie. Everybody was up dancing and uh, looking forward to coming back next year. Make sure you're there. Hi, everyone. My name is Alicia Cayley, and I'm a pop R&B singer-songwriter. Really excited to be here, and see you later. Ani Buju, Bashkade Bijake Edene Indigenous Kaz, Boogie the Beat Indigenous Kaz. My name is Boogie the Beat, Anishinaabe DJ and producer, and I am here for the Resilience Festival in Kishishawan, and I'm super stoked to be here. I'll be out there on the stage. Peace out. We're the Swamp Rockers, and uh, my name is Jules Spence. We're very happy to be back in Cass. It's always a nice place, jumping. Be you guys. Hello, my name's Amanda Rayom. So excited to be here at the Resilience Festival. I've never been to Kasheshwan to come up here to play and uh, to be up here on these lands. See you tonight. Chibi Gwen. Hey, my name is Adrian Sutherland. I'm here in Kishetuan at the Resilience Festival 2023. Thanks for having me. We just got off the stage and we had an amazing show, amazing crowd. And I hope I can come back next year and see you all. Hey, it's Johnny Reed. We just landed here in Kishetuan. It was wonderful. I had a a whole bunch of people came out to say hey, so that was fun. We're looking forward to the show tonight. We can hardly wait to see you. Make sure you put on your dancing shoes. If you've never been here, you gotta come here. It's one of the most beautiful places in the world. Love you guys. Deserve the love of
people are already talking about next year, next year, you know, what is it going to be like? Who are we going to have for next year? It's just not about uh, having some kind of fun. It, there was a goal behind it. There's a purpose behind it. There's a vision behind it. And like I said, the theme of to, uh, this past year, Wakutun, that, that's key. You know, having a good relationship amongst us as community, as peoples, you know, getting along, you know. To see the families being involved in the many activities, that's what it's all about, to, for people to enjoy themselves, you know, and, um, you know, for the community to get together, to get involved, you know, to socialize, to laugh, to talk and joke around and be part of the activities, you know, it just um, it was amazing. And you know, the other thing that I didn't see during the whole week on social media, I didn't see anything negative. All I saw was people, you know, saying, I really enjoyed today, the activities were fun, you know. The other thing that I didn't see myself was people just having fun without um, alcohol being involved. I mean, we see kids around us, you know, and it's a good thing because that kind of a positive environment, you know, kids not seeing there's somebody staging around, staging around, you know. You know, they don't see that. They see their mom, their dad, their cousins, their uncles, or even their grandpas having, having fun, you know, and, uh, and, that's, and that's what it's all about, you know, being a community. I, I usually say there's two definitions of a community. One is uh, uh, a community living, but the other community is living together, you know, uh, as peoples, you know, um, to be, like I said, to be kind to one another. I believe in positively that it will bring the community together, you know, the people together. All I saw was I had fun today, you know. And the other thing, I'm looking forward to tomorrow activities, you know. They see their chief, their deputy chief, their council members being involved in all the activities and whatever that may be happening, you know. So, um, so that's what it was all about. It's about the human side of people have a refreshing start, you know, like um, of all the pressures, you know, the pain, the grief that you're going through, you know, and um, that should be always um, be the goal is to give that opportunity to people to um, become a part of the community, you know, in whatever role they have, you know. It was amazing. And um, sometimes we go over a hill, we don't know what's on the other side of that hill. That's what life is all about. And we just have to be prepared for it, you know, every day.